Hey everyone, this is Light, and welcome to my tier list update video. In this video, I'll be going over everything that's changed since the previous video, so if you want to hear detailed explanations about most of the units on this list and not just the more recent ones, please check out the original tier list video in the description. So let's get started with the recently released Flan, and oh boy. I don't think anyone can argue this, she is astronomically broken in every game mode. And I'm gonna slam her in S plus tier because I do believe she is an extremely versatile unit. She has many different builds. She can be anywhere from base speed to like 280 speed. She can cleave, she can be aggressive, she can be a standard DPS, and her flexibility is very powerful. And units, <laughs> she doesn't have many counters at all. Like, actually, at all. Um, some people will say Solitaria can counter her, but if you're getting cleaved or aggroed on by Flan, you will die. So, I don't think Solitaria is a good enough counter to make Flan not S plus tier. And before you say Shoutier, Shoutier has the same issues as any other, like, super squishy DPS. If the Shoutier gets speed contested, you are dead. So yeah, Flan, insanely broken, does so much damage, has so much tempo, enables your team with defense break and CR push, he's insanely broken. Insanely broken for everything in the game. Yeah, easy as plus tier. And now let's talk about the balance patch units. So first off, more, okay, more. He's kind of weak to the big knights. He's kind of weak to Ilinev. He's weak to A Tywin because A Tywin cleanses his fear. He's weak to LRK because LRK can just put up immunity. Um, he's also weak to cleansers like Dillybet, who is extremely strong right now. And for that reason, I'm going to put more at a solid A tier because late, later on uh, um, in the draft, Mort is actually a decent pick. Like he does upwards of 20k damage to the highest HP target and he can, he can kind of like sweep people. But it's very difficult to pick him early considering he doesn't have a self cleanse and he gets countered by a lot of popular units. So yeah, I think Mort will be a solid A tier. And um, Ruel, Ruel is actually very, very good. Um, I moved her up from A minus to A tier. I think Ruel is very, very strong against um, cleavers that don't heavily debuff you. And she's actually pretty decent into the new Flan because she stops a lot of Flan's um, damage potential with her with her S two. And also, she has um she has a lot of synergy with units like Laia and LRK because like they reduce her cooldown, so she can press two S two like almost every turn, which is pretty crazy. And also, she she stops your DPSs from dying. So like if you pick Ruel with like the new Flan, holy moly, Flan will never die. Oh yeah, I think Ruel Ruel actually really really good. But um. You you really only pick her if you're getting really aggressed on, to be honest. So, I I wouldn't say she's a unit that you can pick anytime you want. She'll be, she'll be solid solid A for when for when you get aggressed on. Has a very definite purpose. Very 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 good buff for her. And then let's talk about Dilly Bet. Yeah, Dilly Bet went all the way from like A minus tier to S tier. She is really strong. She does so much damage. And there's pretty much a debuffer in every single game. Cause like, you know, there's, there's, there's Luna, Harseti, A Tywin, DDR. There's so many debuffers every game that she's pretty much guaranteed value. And um, she's particularly good at reverse cleaving base speed Harseti teams. Cause like even though she doesn't get a CR push on her city's turn, she just kind of, she just kind of kills her city, <laughs> and she still does a lot of damage even if like Ilinav is there to mitigate her. So yeah, very, very strong unit, very very good cleanser. She does tons of damage. Um, she's honestly kind of similar to Laia, except she's not um, anti knockoff, but yeah, she's still really strong. 
Yeah, super, super strong. My, I personally, Dillybed is the winner of this balance patch for me. Easy S plus, or sorry, easy S tier for me. Easy S tier. And then we have Last Rider Crow. Um, Last Rider Crow also came from A minus tier, I believe, and I'm also going to slap him in S tier. He's really good against A Tywin, which is rare. But he doesn't he doesn't really do damage against Illinav, which is also <laughs> which is normal. Mo most units don't do damage against Illinav. But um his cooldown reduction is super strong. It makes him a soft knockoff counter just like A Tywin. But you can't just slam LRK every game because like Illinav reduces his value too much. Otherwise he would be probably S plus tier for me, but yeah, with, with the existence of Illinav, you can't really slam LRK. But also, he's definitely not on the same tier as the Broken Openers and Illina. But yeah, LRK, solid S tier, has a good role. Um, he doesn't necessarily have to counter Knockwall because his cooldown, his team cooldown reduction on S3 is actually huge. For for getting the um, for for like cycling into second S3s, like it's really really strong. He does decent damage and he protects your team a lot with his barriers. Actually, actually, huge patch for him too. Yeah, easy S tier with Dilly Bet. And then that's all I had to say for the balance patch units, honestly. Uh, I was pretty disappointed overall with them. Uh, for example, MO Ara is honestly just a cleave unit to me. I think she doesn't do enough damage to be a standard DPS, and she doesn't control people enough to be a debuffer. Like, one turn control is kind of not enough for this meta. And her damage is a little underwhelming, especially if you fight, if you try to fight like a Tywin and stuff. Definitely not too happy with her. And yeah, nothing. Yeah, MR is pretty much it. Um, there's also Yoha. I was pretty disappointed by Yoha too. Uh, I tried, I tried to make Yoha work. Like I picked her into pure damage RB. I picked her into pure damage BBK. She only reflected like 4k damage to them, and then I died. <laughs> Yeah, I tried to make her work. Um, who else? Uh, says says was also on the um on the buffs units list. Uh, he's just a cleave unit now. He's a he's a bridge. But like you do damage to people, and then he takes the turn and beats them up. And he's just kind of a cleave unit. And uh, Blitica, Blitica got a nice buff. Um, it's just a damage buff, but it doesn't change the fact that she's just a cleave unit. She's she's better. She's better than before, but still still has um mostly the same issues. And um Okay, Melissa got buffed and honestly I had I had Melissa not even on the tier list, but I actually think she's okay in cleave. But only in cleave because she's a kind of unit, you know, where if she doesn't get first turn, she just kinda dies. And that's not very good. So yeah, she's definitely easier to use in cleave. Um, um, especially, especially with Frida, to be honest, who is also a very popular team right now. So yeah, usable, but unfortunately only for cleavers. And um, that's pretty much it for the balance patch units. And now let's talk about um, units that I want to move um, to different ranks that are that are like normally on the tier. So. We had BBK in S plus tier, but I actually think we need to knock BBK down one tier because BBK, the meta is getting tankier and tankier. Um, a lot of people are pre-banning Death Dealer right now, and a lot of other openers. And but <coughs> BBK is, she struggles to kill things now. Unless you can perfectly set up defense break, she has a lot of issues killing things. Um, Flynn is too tanky, A Tywin stops the defense breaks, um, Illinav makes the team too tanky, LRK is also very tanky. Um, it's much harder to play BBK right now. Cause like, the game is naturally getting, like the meta is naturally getting way tankier. And like, her biggest enemy are people who can like, disrupt her enablers. So like, a Tywin, Dilly Bet, like all the random cleansers, she uh, and, and Illinav, she really struggles with the random cleansers. So I'm gonna knock her down a tier because she's much harder to use, as opposed to Flan, where you just slam her every game and she's infinitely effective. But yeah, still, still strong though, still strong though, for sure. 
And we're also going to knock down a Miki from S tier because... Once again, she has the same problem as BBK where the meta is getting way too tanky for her. You can basically only pick her against people who are aggressive because then their team will be squishy enough for Miki to kill. She cannot deal with the 4 tank teams which are very very common now. And lastly, we're going to move slowly from A- minus tier to A tier. Because she's one of the only kind of counters to Flan. She can counter Flan when Flan is being played by a slow player, but slowly will die to aggressive Flans that, act that will actually cleave you. But usually she does okay against Flan. And for that reason, she's being picked much more often. And I think like Super Tank Solitaire is actually pretty value. But a bit hard to pull off, but still, it, the existence of Flan really ups her value. So yeah, that is about it for this tier list update. Thank you so much for watching, and once again, if you want to hear about the other units on this list, please check out my original tier list video, and thank you for watching, see you next time.